On the 25th of November, Beijing-based private aerospace firm Lingkong Tianxin Technologies, also known as Space Transportation, unveiled the YKJ-1000 hypersonic missile through a promotional and test video that they shared to its WeChat account, which is exclusive to China. Now, this marks a significant milestone for them because it's the first instance of a Chinese private company offering a strategic level hypersonic weapon to the People's Liberation Army of China. Now, the YKJ-1000 is a boost glide hypersonic missile that's equipped with a hypersonic glide vehicle or a HGV designed for high speed maneuverable strikes against high value targets like naval carrier groups, mobile offshore platforms, ships, and land-based installations. Now, I don't know if it's a coincidence or not that they unveiled this amid the tensions that they are kind of going through with Japan right now, but Japan just deployed some medium range missiles on Yanaguni Island, which is about 110 kilometers from Taiwan. And this video Video's animated sequences explicitly depict strikes on Japanese military targets, which signals like a direct response to perceived encirclement threats along the first island chain. Now, apparently, this thing has a range of between 500 and 1,300 kilometers, which is sufficient to target Japan from northeastern China. It can travel at speeds of Mach 5 to 7, which is approximately 8,600 kilometers per hour, which is very fast. It's got a an AI-enabled autonomous targeting system, which can enable it to conduct evasive maneuvers to bypass defenses. And apparently they're able to be mass produced. But the big thing I think is most important about this is the fact that the missile has a significantly lower cost than the ones that were developed by the military. Reportedly one-tenth of that of a traditional hypersonic system. It's like a 90% reduction in cost. So I suspect that since China is doing this with private corporations, that some other countries countries are probably going to be doing the same.